Hey, what's going on guys? So I want to show you guys my current shoulder, bicep, and tricep workout routine. Uh, you know, every all the exercises that I do. So I'm going to narrate it through and just explain to you guys exactly why I do it and how many sets and reps and all that thing. Hope you enjoy the video. So this video was from last week. It was uh, shoulders, biceps, and triceps. I've been doing this routine for, uh, I think, the past three months. Love it, and I will always go back to it. I, I just got off of this uh, split right now because I'm doing a, a push-pull leg routine. But this is a very, very lovely workout routine. For those of you that want to give it a try, try it because, you know, it's definitely a good routine. Especially if, if you're one of those guys that like doing chest and back together, this is a good routine to go with it. But I like to start the workout with, uh, you know, cable, uh, lateral raises, warm up the delts. I had a really bad shoulder injury back in high school, incline bench pressing. So one of my shoulders on the right is really messed up, guys. So I really have to look out, warm up properly, and work my way up. So I do a lot of warm-up sets in the beginning of my shoulder workouts. And something I like to do is that seated lateral raise. I like to go heavy on that one. Just the fact that going heavy on your side delts is what's going to get you those bold shoulders that you want. That's the only way. Everybody that I ask, man, that has that is either two things, man. They're taking steroids and they got big shoulders and they go heavy. Or they go heavy and they're natural, but their shoulders ain't that big. But still, it looks nice. So you have to pick one, man. And I'm picking. I'm going to go heavy and just, you know, uh, every year just try to add some shoulder size to the side delts. So I do not start with seated, bent, uh, seated dumbbell presses or anything like that. Just the fact that seated dumbbell presses, overhead press... They hit all three shoulders, and the main shoulder they hit is your front delts, not your side delts. So I like to put a lot of emphasis on my side delts. So that's why I start my, my exercises that way, and not like uh, the old traditional way. If you notice, man, if you look at any natural, most likely any natural does not have side delts. Because just the fact that that's a hard muscle to hit, and that's why I do that. I also do a couple more sets, you know, seated with the dumbbells, then some rear delt uh, flies. The reason, one of the reasons why I'm doing a, a push pull leg routine is because I want to, I want to start hitting my rear delts with back. Just the fact since you're rowing already and you're pulling your your rear delts, I think I was getting way too much volume overtraining my rear delts. So I want to see how this plays out, and once that plays out pretty good, I'll come back to this maybe, maybe depending on how this, uh, the push-pull leg day routine, because I haven't done that one in, uh, in years. So I'm going to see how it plays out, and then I'll come back. I'll come back to this, because I love this exercise. Because you get a pump in your shoulders, and then you get a pump in your biceps, and then you get a pump in your triceps, so your arms are big. You get a nice pump, uh, and probably, I think I think my arms were the biggest back in 2013, and it was doing this sack routine right here. This is a sack routine. My friends still use this. I don't know if you guys remember it. Shin Sino, he still uses this routine. Just the fact that he loves it. And his arms are like 18 and a half, something like that. That guy got good genetics though. But anyways, as I was saying, I do biceps. Nice, easy workouts. You know, things that work. I like to do uh, concentrated curls. I like that one. Just, you know, try to get more peak action going. Uh, of course, the peak is going to depend on your genetics, obviously, but you go always make some improvements and just make it, you know, make it look like you got a peak. Try to, you know, try to just add muscle on top of muscle on top of muscle over the years and you will gain some muscle that way. Uh, for triceps, I like to just uh, try to superset. Row pushdowns is my thing now. Uh, row pushdowns, supersetting with that. Uh, I also do a couple of extra exercises now, but... You know, like like uh, just body weight dips, things like that. I'll start incorporating uh, weighted dips and close grip bench press maybe later on in my life somewhere when I want to, but not now. But hopefully you guys enjoy the workout. Talk to you guys. And I know that doing, you know, the treadmill always in the gym, you know, doing cardio that way could get boring. Something you could try is do some outdoor cardio, you know, like pushing, you know, your truck or something like that. Uh, it takes every ounce of energy that you have to do this you know you're using your calves your quads your glutes your upper body your arms everything so definitely give it a try a good way to burn a lot of calories and use some strength in there as well because it's very heavy and i was out of breath with just a couple of seconds in there so give it a try uh just like the video guys share it and you know comment any questions below and i'll bring more videos talk to you guys next time hold on to the channel man